Any chance that you have time to answer my previous question? Let's hear it. What's a good argument for normies against transports other than they aren't even good at them, really? Which I've heard people say, yeah, but what if they are? And we should change sports, which all normies I've told hate that a lot. I'm just looking for advice here. Thanks. I think that trans uh, people competing with cis people uh, is always going to be a losing argument because there's way too many fucking people that are uh, constantly talking about it. Like Joe Rogan has made that impossible to fucking uh, talk about in any serious way. Uh, ultimately though, th that's why I like to belittle my interlocutors instead of like talking about it, like fairness or whatever, by saying stuff like, look, man, you're forced to go watch, uh, women's sports. Then like, if you can talk about this for any longer, I'm going to have to, you're going to have to legally go and watch like little girl swim meets or something, which by the way, if you want to do that, what's wrong with you? Are you a fucking pervert? You know what I mean? Like nobody cares about this. Shit. It's ultimately a lot of people. It's ultimately a lot of people that are 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 whipped into a fucking frenzy by all of their podcasters that they that talk about it. That's it. It's stupid. Like no one fucking cares about women's sports in general, all the way up to the fucking professional level, and they only act like they care uh, about it to just you know score some points against trans people. And oftentimes, it's not even trans people that get suffer. Uh, trans people that will suffer from this. It'll be cis. Girls that suffer from the penis inspection day because there aren't that many fucking trans people on the planet, okay, in the United States of America that are at least participating in athletic endeavors. There, for every, like, four trans girls that you have in a state like fucking Kansas, there are hundreds of thousands of cis girls that are participating in sports who now will have to go through penis inspection day because some hyper-competitive zealot decided that girl is trans, actually. She ain't looking right. Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's good for anyone? Do you think that it's like, or do you think that it's going to be traumatizing for conservative parents and their cis girls? Okay? That's why I don't like talking about it because it's like 0.000001% of like co competition in general. And the argument is like, what if everyone becomes trans and then is like participating in it it's unserious okay what if they don't okay and even if they do what if they do i legitimately do think that having more trans women if they were as good as the way the conservatives present them as having more trans women participate in uh, uh sports alongside cis women would make it more interesting and probably would generate more revenue for all athletes that are participating in the fucking field so if that was even the case, that would literally be good. It wouldn't be bad. It would be a good thing. Okay. Uh. Women's sports and boys playing on girls' teams when trans people are doing what sports they play at the sports ball time to avoid the top of the hour ad break, am I right? Fuck you. Is class war an instrument? God damn it. You didn't even try to write something that was, like, coherent, which is why you captured my attention. Okay? Like, it was so impossible to comprehend what you just said there. It was so impossible to understand. Thanks for responding, and thanks, chat. Read some good stuff in here, too. Agree, it's fucked up. Appreciate it. Sorry for getting into it again. No, it's fine. We've talked about it so much. I personally... I personally believe in a couple things. One, I don't believe that people are transing themselves to win a high school swim meet. I think you're just self-reporting when you say that. It's the same kind of self-report that people used to say that people are gay for attention. It's like you're doing you're not you're not sucking a dick for for attention. You're sucking a dick because you want to suck one, okay? There's nothing wrong with it, but get the fuck out of here. Put it in your butt then if you want it for attention. Try it out. Try it out. Try it out for size, you know what I mean? Like it's just it's fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. No one is doing that shit. Okay? It's the same thing. It's like, oh yeah, you want to go, you want to take puberty blockers after undergoing rigorous psychiatric evaluation so you can what, win or 
you you have a a, a non zero shot like you don't even have a guaranteed shot of victory either by the way when you take all the fucking puberty blockers and shit. so what the fuck are you talking about you're not gonna win anything but if you want to win at the top of the hour all you need to do is subscribe for five dollars or for free with the twitch prime by connecting your amazon prime account to your Twitch account where you get one free prime subscription a month by uh by getting gifted a sub you can also win at the top of the hour your approach is wrong if you're talking to people with some empathy for trans people. What? Your approach is wrong if you're talking to people with some empathy for trans people? No, I'm never talking to people with empathy for trans people. I'm talking specifically to people who don't have empathy for trans people. I'm talking to the majority. I'm talking to people who have apathy for trans people. Okay? Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah, if you're talking with normies who have empathy, center a conversation on where trans women should play. Eventually, you'll get to, well, they can't play men's sports or so. I guess they have to play women's. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good take. Yeah, you're right. But I'm talking about... When I talk to people, I'm talking to people who have apathy, okay? Tamana, thank you for the... Apathy or, like, straight-up anger. Tamana, thank you for the 10, get the subs. Shut up, Axel, thank you for the 5, get the subs. Motorface, thank you for the 5, get the subs. Allowing 20 people to no longer see the three-minute ad break now. But the tractors say their own league? Yeah, that's a laughable notion. If you're talking to someone who has like a little bit of empathy, who's like libbed up, if you ask them their own league, that's not going to work. There's like one fucking, you can literally give the exact number of trans athletes, trans student athletes from K through 12 in like every state. You want to know why it's easy? Because it's like usually something that you can count with one hand, man. Yeah. Five girls from like, you know, five different uh, fields are going to compete against one another? Like, what are you going to do? You're going to have one person who's a swimmer compete against the track and field person? Like, what the f***? And that's how you arrive at the advantage. A couple things I believe, like I said. One of, one of the things is that, like, yeah, sports is not about fairness. Ask them why they want equality of outcome, okay? Why they're trying to turn sports away from what it actually is. And you will say, oh, well, hormones are not natural, Plenty of athletes take hormones. Plenty of athletes take medicine that you would consider to be fucking, uh, a, a, an advantage, whether it be Adderall or whether it be like uh, some form of HGH that, for example, uh, a beloved athlete like Lionel Messi took, okay? Ultimately, they're nerfing themselves. Trans women, especially, are nerfing themselves, okay? They're not buffing themselves. They're nerfing prior testosterone levels that were coursing into their fucking veins, Okay, so, yeah, most of the UFC was on TRT for a while. Exactly. So, like, it, it, ultimately, it ultimately comes down to who you don't want to participate in sports. You just think trans people are weird and gross or somehow hiding it, somehow, like, fucking doing something freaky for, for false notions, for, like, some devious purpose. You can't even identify what the fucking devious purpose is half the goddamn time. And you think that, like... They're doing it to, like, win athletic competition at the fucking high school level? Like, get out of here. Okay? Is she is she being good? No, she's probably not being good. She is being adorable, but she's probably... Don't, don't play with her too much when she's riled up. I've been, like, always avoiding playing with her. Get in there. Get in there, Kaya. Good girl. Push her in. Thank you. What are you up to today? Okay. It's a free show. As an ex-college athlete, you wouldn't believe the shit coaches wanted us to take the boost performance. The girls' teams were peddled the same shit. Yeah, I transed myself to come sixth place in my track and field sprint in, like, high school. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I am now getting owned by every facet of society where, like, I don't know if I could be fucking hate crime on the way to, like, 7-Eleven. But, hey, guess what? I got sixth place in a fucking track and field meet. You think that's the reason? You think that's why people do that? Or do you think that sports, especially up from K through 12, is a really good way to feel normalized and feel welcomed in society? And that's precisely the reason why some 
brave trans students actually go through with it, even if they will become a national villain in the fucking spotlight at the early age of like 12 to fucking 16. That's it. That's the only reason. That's the only reason why like trans people compete. And they're not that good anyway. They're usually competing before they transition too. So they're like, yeah, I'll keep doing that. This makes me feel normal. It makes me feel welcome. And in a lot of instances, luckily, there are plenty of other high school athletes who are very open-minded towards them. It's always the fucking freaky, pervy adults that, you know, decide that it's unacceptable. It make, it's so gross. Anyway. Aiden Ross is copy striking again. What? He's copy striking COD creator FooTube's video where he literally 2v2's Aiden in Call of Duty. He's got to be the lowest thing. Aiden Ross versus FooTube's. Bro, what is he fucking doing, man? What the f I mean, that's crazy to me. Why is he just consistently doing that? Like, I feel like bullying him is not working. It also reminds me when the trans MMA fighter Fallon Fox was a fight was fighting a cis woman and it came out Fallon was trans. She's passable and was more attractive than her opponent. So the freaks in the comment section was dragging the cis woman opponent, calling her all sorts of transphobic nonsense. Yeah, that does happen all the time. It basically, look, transphobia is like super fucking mental illness on overdrive, okay? And it creates an environment that is unsafe for trans people. Certainly, we all know that, obviously. That's the obvious uh answer but it also makes a really unsustainable and unhabitable environment for cis women too because the we can always tell motherfuckers are so unhinged that they start lashing out at anyone that doesn't fulfill their expectations of a rigid gender norm or gender binary because no such thing exists okay so then you're just shitting on every woman you can because you're like oh it's just probably trans probably trans are you tomboy trans you lesbian, trans, or just a cishet, but like, you know, maybe you got hair growing, trans. And that's the thing, like, and then people, and then some of the other dumbass transphobes will look at that and go, this is because trans people exist, and that's why. Um, correct, this story. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Here, here it is, dude. Here, look at that. Oh, my God. A lesbian cisgender woman is escorted out of the women's bathroom by police because a Karen called the cops on her thinking she was a man. Bathroom transvestigations are only about enforcing gender conformity, nothing else. This is from 2016, seven years ago. Oh, this is from, this is an old ass fucking video from TYT. Hate to post anything from TYT, but. The funniest thing is the we can always tell crowd is brick the fuck up. Okay, that's the inherent irony, because guess what? Gender norms are fucking silly. They're not real, okay? That's the most hilarious part about it, is that, like, TERFs unironically make a less safe space for themselves because someone else is going to turn around and go, bitch, what about you? The fuck? Wait, wait a minute. Are you trans? That's the point. That's, like, that's what's, like, unironically hilarious about it. You know what I mean? I've never seen a fucking non-bricked up turf, dude. I'm sorry. Turf face is real and scary. Yeah. It's so dumb. It's like Ben Shapiro talking about like masculinity and, you know, rigid gender binary. It's like, bitch, you literally, what are you saying? Like, Buck Angel, for all of his trust scummy ways, clears Ben in every capacity as a man. You know what I mean? Every capacity. It's so stupid. I hate the buck example, though. Why? Why do you hate it? It's a good way to open the door to this conversation to transphobic people. You understand that, right? Passing is good for social acceptance. It's good for survival. But it's not the end-all, be-all of being a trans person. However, 
people who are like hyper passing, it's good. Yeah, it's good for safety. It's good for survival. People that are hyper passing, okay, are great to open the door up about trans conversations with like literally transphobic people. And some of you have probably used it. Some of you probably used it in a conversation. There is nothing better than just pulling up examples of like super fucking sexy trans men and super sexy trans women that pass incredibly, okay? And and not only that, but are like desirable by the Western aesthetics, okay? The Western beauty standards that people have created. When you when you show that to people, they're like, wait a minute, they start questioning. They start, you open up the door in a way that is unimaginable. I know this as a person who had some transphobic opinions, okay? You post up a photo of Buck Angel, okay? And you say, you want him to fucking pee next to your daughter? Especially when he had a, he doesn't anymore. Even though it's like gross to constantly talk about like what people are working with, like what their tools are down there. But like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I remember a time when, when uh, it's none of our business, but like, I mean, he is a sex worker or was a sex worker. So like plenty of photos of, of Buck out there. Pretty sure he hasn't had bottom surgery. Oh, I thought he did. Maybe I'm wrong. But regardless, like there are a, there are a load of photos of Buck out there with the prettiest that you've seen, Okay. Straight up. He sucks and he's old. He's an old trans person, okay? It just like, listen, he's gone through a mountain of fucking hatred and shit at a time when, you know, uh, people were way more open about like murdering people, okay? Don't look at old trans people. Don't look at elderly trans people and, and uh, look to them and be like, wow, they're problematic. It's just, it's, yeah, they are, okay? Who cares? Huh. <sighs> There's way too much trauma there for you to like fucking expect like a reasonable uh, answer out of them. Like the, these are people who like somehow survived. Okay. Oh, she's pressing buttons. <laughs> Calm down. No. Anyway, guys, love you all. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Saturday.